everyone. Today in this video, we're going to talk about how to run a continuous battery system for the Sony A-Series camera. Now, many of you know the Sony A-Series, the 6500, the 7 Series run through batteries quite fast. And so I've put together a little bit of a process to kind of help you out with that. Now, all you need to keep your batteries charged and ready to go to keep filming, to keep taking pictures, is just keep those batteries at top you know, charged, uh, peak, and ready to go. And when you're in the field, you don't have access to a car charger, a home, you know, battery uh, outlet or a power outlet or anything like that. So you got to stay mobile. You got to stay completely ready to go. Here's how I do this, and here's how I keep my batteries charged for my A6500 and on the go. Okay, a few things you're going to need to create a mobile battery charging station for your camera batteries is a multi-battery charger and a portable battery pack. Now, the one I like to use is from RevPower. It comes with two batteries and a pack you can buy on Amazon. These batteries are easily inserted. The key to this is it has an inlet here for a mini USB cable and you need a portable battery pack charger. I like to use this one from Life Charge because it has two ports and one, one port is a rapid charging port and it is a 16,000 milliamp battery. So this thing can charge this entire pack four or five times over and my cell phone if needed. Now how this process works is you take your battery charger Take your USB cable, plug it in, and you're going to take your cable and you're going to plug it into your portable charger. You'll notice the lights light up immediately. The battery charger automatically kicks in and it's going to charge these two batteries. It's going to take maybe about 30 minutes. Um, all you have to do is pop one battery out, pop the next battery in, put it back in your camera, keep cycling through you know, as you go out through your day. One key thing about the Sony A6500 camera that you want to keep in mind is it does overheat after about maybe 45 minutes to an hour of 4K filming and maybe about 75 to 80 degree temperature. So you got to keep a watch out for that. Other than that, a battery charger, a rev powered multi charging station, and enough juice. This will keep you going for hours and hours on end in the field. Well, that's it, folks. Nice and simple. Simple products to use. Nice and easy. If you have any questions about the product numbers or how to find these products, please hit me up in the questions. Um, please check back later on. We'll also review the dummy battery process that I will be purchasing here soon. That way you can have a separate battery pack outside of the camera itself. That way the battery doesn't overheat the camera as much. So make it nice and simple. Have a good evening. We'll talk to you soon.